What's up everybody? One of the many fun things that winter can throw at you is frozen trailer brakes. Now though, if you're gonna fix these yourself, it's liable to cause a couple of other things to freeze up. However, you're gonna save yourself a lot of time because calling a record truck in the winter time, it generally takes a while before they show up and then they've gotta unpack everything, get you done. Then you gotta wait for them to do the billing. We're gonna go over all the steps you need today to just take care of this yourself. I'm John with Translines Inc. and this is OTR Survival. Oh yeah, it's on, let's go! If you are watching this show, that means you wanna know how to become a professional, oh shit, like me. Now, rule number one, if it's below freezing, do not set your trailer brakes. That's what allows them to stick together. So if you can, remember, when you go to sleep, just set your truck brakes. That way you don't have to deal with this. However, if you're like me, you can get tired enough to forget your name, let alone not to set the trailer brakes. So if it happens, that's why we're making this video so we can cover through these. But a quick hint for you, if you'll take a piece of masking tape and just put it over your trailer brake, it'll remind you when you go, ah, oh, yeah, I don't need to be pulling that. All right, so you wake up and you realize you've set the brakes and your brakes are frozen. Let's deal with it. First thing you need to do is go ahead and push that red valve in and release those trailer brakes. What that's gonna do is provide some tension to allow that pad to separate from the drum once you finally do break them loose. Now the first step everyone's pretty familiar with, the first method rather, and that's to take a hammer and try to beat on them. But I wanna take you down here and show you there's not a whole lot of room to go swinging a hammer. I've got a much better method and we'll get into that. Let's go under the truck and check it out. All right, so as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of room between here and here to go swinging a hammer. So, best bet is to use one of these. You can pick up a bottle for about, I believe it's 12 bucks or so, and one of these little quick tips. Uh, I got it on Amazon for about five bucks. All you gotta do is just twist it, get the fire started, push the button, and you're ready to go. All right? Now, with this method, we don't wanna set the brakes on fire. We simply wanna heat them up so that they'll release. Go ahead and run your heat right along this edge line here where the pad meets the drum and on top of the pad itself. That metal will evenly heat up. Again, don't leave it on too long. Keep in mind, you're using a torch. So if you center that heat in one spot, it'll heat up real quick and uh, you'll be able to start burning a few things. So just run it back and forth, nice and gentle. It will heat up and it'll eventually release. So you can just go to each one of these pads and release them. Now, sometimes not all of them will be stuck. you are just got one that's locked or maybe two, but obviously when you get down here, you'll be able to survey that once you figure it out. Now, keep in mind, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clear away the massive amount of snow that's probably built up in between those brake pads and that drum. The easiest way to do that, you would think, is to heat it up and just let it go. No, it takes forever to try to do that. If you can, get yourself a little mini pry bar and with your hammer, it's a whole lot easier to just use that wide wedge and bust that apart. Uh, I've also used a, a paint scraper and exact same trick. Uh, I just find the little mini crowbar seems to last a lot longer and it's not so easy to bend or bust. So I hope this helps you out. If you're the one that undoes your brakes and your company finds out you saved them some money, that's probably gonna put you in a good spot. They're not really keen on having to spend thousands of dollars a month on wreckers having to come and unthaw brakes out when it could be avoided. So until next time, thanks for watching. Take some time to have fun. Catch you on the next one, bye-bye.